everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is alexandria west and i am a beauty lifestyle vlogger allegedly <laughs> i know i know i know every time i do a haul get ready with me i'm gone for months um this is an attempt i'm gonna attempt to haul film everything like every collective haul that i need to get done i'm pre-recording so if you see this and think she said she wasn't gonna buy no more this all this was bought before january i have a couple of items that i did buy in january but not with personal funds it was like gift cards um the rouge uh if you cash in 2500 points you get a hundred dollar rouge gift card that's how this was done okay and the same thing for ulta because i got a ulta haul coming and i got a target haul coming so buckle up hide your wallet <laughs> that's all i got to say someone should have hit mine but anyways i got a sephora haul and this is heavy this is heavy and that was one bag. And this is another bag. I'm going to start with a little makeup. So, some of this, like I said, are gifts. So, don't come for me. I didn't spend all this money. And I told them to get the deals. So, the first product that I have is the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette. I really, really, really wanted this bad this was a gift i wanted this really bad i know natasha denona is doing a lot of monochrome and it's kind of like what's the point you want some a palette with diversity you want a palette with diversity but i really really like this palette this palette speaks to me, and I cannot wait to use this. I'm going to be saying that with everything. No swatches, because I am going to use all these. Next product that I got from my best friend is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. If you're not new to my channel, you would know that I already have this palette, but my sweet baby girl... <laughs> My sweet, sweet baby girl, Lily, got into it and destroyed it. I mean, she was having a good old time in that palette. I'll insert picture somewhere. And I'm not ashamed to say I cried because I was like, ooh, Lily, that's $69. And I just, I don't have that kind of money to be buying $69 palettes again, you know? So... Here's the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I'm so happy to have one that's not shattered. The next Natasha Denona Palette I got is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I've always wanted this, but I'm like, Alex, you have too many neutrals. But with me, you just, you just can't have enough. You can't have enough neutrals. The Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And like I said, I'm not going to be swatching anything because I will be swatching for a long time. <gasps> oh my God. I thought something was broken in here because there's like dust on the back of this palette. But the next palette I got, I got a long time ago. I'm just going to be honest. I got it such a long time ago, I forgot I had it. So I'm just going to haul it in this video. I don't even think that you can get this palette at... Sephora, but I'll put a link either to Natasha Denona's website or somewhere where you can get it. But anyways, I got the Natasha Denona Biba palette. If you know me, you know I love some neutrals, and this is the goat of neutrals to me. And I got this for Mother's Day. I'll pop a picture of everything that I got for Mother's Day. Okay, a little bit after Christmas, Sephora had a extra 20% off clearance sale. So I got the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. I love the first Gemini palette. The more green one. 
This one did not have really good reviews. I know why. It's because of a certain shadow. The Shimmer Shadows, this one, and I believe this one up here. Some people say that they have mold, but somebody has said that it's not mold, it's something else. And plus, I really like Melts mattes. So I totally got this for the mattes in here, and this is what that palette looks like. And I got another Melt Cosmetics. This was on sale as well. This was on sale plus an extra 20% off the Dark Matter eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. This is good for everyday use. Every day and every night. Got your darker shades over here and your lighter shades over here. And I'm a fan of Melt. I know some people. It's hit or miss. I will agree. It's hit or miss. But I am a fan. So I got that on sale a little bit after Christmas. But still in December. So I got that. But the last palette I got is the Danessa Myricks Lightworks 5 palette. And my parents got me this for Christmas. Love you parents love you this is just so cool i don't have anything like this in my collection Ugh. and i just i'm kind of intimidated by this palette but i'm also really excited to use it i did color today i don't know how i feel about it i tried i tried I need a practice. The next product I got is from NARS and it is the All That Glitters Light Reflecting Cheek Palette. I also got this on sale in December. This was already on sale and then they were having an extra 20% off sale products at Sephora. So I picked this up and actually this is my first like holiday cheek palette from NARS. I don't know. I never really have been into their cheek palettes, but something drew me into this one. And I don't know if you can see the colors. This one, that color right here and this color up there really drew me in. So I got the Fenty Skin Plush Puddin um, Duo. It's like their mask recovery. I really enjoy these. I have the original already that I'm almost out of that looks like this. And it came with the cherry flavor, which looks like this. And this is the original. I also heard really good things about the Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. So I picked this up. And it is their Butter Drop Warm Cinnamon Shimmering Whipped Body Cream. And it looks like this. I got the full size of that. I also got the little butter drops that came as a travel size of all three of the butter drops that she's ever had. So it came with the vanilla. It came with the vanilla little butter drop, the original butter drop, and the warm cinnamon butter drop. So, I got all three. Originally, I was going to split these up as gifts, but I decided to just give full size. <laughs> because, I don't know, I just love gift giving. I just love to give people gifts. I love, that's like how I show love. I love giving gifts. So my best friend Kelly wanted the original one and she had the vanilla one. So I got her a refill of the original one. And then I gave my friend Ashley the warm cinnamon full size. She also does my hair. If you didn't know, that's why I'm filming. I haven't had my hair done in months. Months. So I was like, put some makeup on and film a video. Because who knows if you're going to look like this again. So that's why I did that. Is that all of the Fenty stuff that I have? No. And then I got this Cookies and Clean Whipped 
clay detox face mask and a mint chocolate chip um they i don't know if they have this anymore I, this was limited edition all of these little things are limited edition when it comes to Fenty except for the I can't think the melt off the cleansing balm so here's what that mask looks like I think they have a re regular cookies and clean but I got the mint one so that's the difference I got a refill of the Polish Choice Perfecting Balance Foaming Cleanser. I love this cleanser, so I got a backup. Um, I'm almost out of my original, so I got, like I said, a backup. This I got a long time ago, and I don't even think that they have it anymore. It is the Pharmacy Cleanse and Treat Duo. It comes with a Pharmacy Blueberry Clean like Makeup Melt Away. Cleansing balm, and then it comes with the uh, ten percent niacinamide night mask, night cream, and here is the blueberry clean cleansing balm. And then I got a set, a skincare set from Skin Fix. I'll pop a picture up. I got it for my husband and I to share and we already started using it but it came with the skin fix um barrier triple lipid peptide cream and it came with a refill of that foaming oil cleanser so it came with all of that and I did get that during the VIB sale and then I got the topicals brightening brightening and clearing eye mask I heard really good things about this and I also put some of these in my friends um Christmas gifts because who doesn't like an eye mask and I heard really good reviews about that I also got a dark Dr. Dennis Gross brightening treatment sheet mask these were on sale it was a sale on top of a sale but after this I'm done with makeup removing balms because I, quite frankly, I have enough. I got the Pharmacy Tea Harvest Green Clean Trio. And these were on sale and then it was an extra 20% off. I'm not going to open it. It's just the same size as that blueberry one. It comes with the Wild Raspberry Tea, cap Chamomile Rose Latte, and Warm Vanilla Chai. So, I got that. So I got this Sol de Janeiro um, Boom Dia Bright uh, kit. It comes with a clarifying body wash, the body cream, and the number 40 body mist. Got that. I also got the controversial Delicia Delicia like I guess delicious <laughs> Delicia Drench Body Butter in number 59. I got it in the mini. I quite like this and maybe in the spring sale I'll buy a full size because th this cream is thicker than all the rest of them. I would have to say this is really hydrating and I like it because like the boom boom cream is not my favorite and then it came i got this from the actual site i got because i had i had a discount code i think yeah i had a discount code for these th items the sol de janeiro items so you got a free mini like a real mini of the number 59 perfume mist and i can say i like this better than this because the body butter smells more sweet and vanilla -y and the mist is more sandalwoody. So, I'm happy that I got, I might get like the $24 one of this, but I want the big daddy of that one. Because I really love the smell. Let's keep going on body care. I got the 54 Thrones Cloud Rapid Hydration Barrier 
repair cream and I got this from Enamored Beauty. I ordered it a long time ago and I used her link. Um, she's the one who made me want to get this and I'm not even going to hold you. I have been using this. I love it. I love this. And when it's gone, I'm going to get it again. Um, the smell isn't my favorite. It just smells like shea butter. Um, but it gets the job done. It says vanilla and Ethiopian honey. I love this. This is going to make, this is actually going to work for the body. You know, like it's not going to just be like, I'm going to drink it all in and you're going to be crusty. This actually works. So just saying. Oh, I got this Sol de Janeiro after hours missed a long time ago too because this has been out i haven't even opened it <sighs> i have a shopping addiction yeah you do i don't want to go too much in detail because you can't even get that anymore and then i got a josie marin whipped argan oil body butter and i got this sephora had this half off it was like months months ago they had this half off and I got it. I think I got the fragrance free. This is unscented. So I got this. I've always wanted to try this. Some people say they like this better than the Fenty. Oh, it has a seal. I'm not breaking the seal because I don't want to use it just yet. Some people like this better than the Fenty. So I had to get it to try for myself, but I got the unscented because I have some fragrances that don't last. So I thought I would like spray them on top of that, you know, because when you put it on top of a body butter, the scent really sticks. Next, I got the Vanilla Skin Hair and Body Fragrance Mist from Fleur. And I, I've been using this and I, I love it. I'm not even going to hold you. I love it. But this top leaks. So don't store it on its side, upside down. And this doesn't really click. Like this falls right off for me. The lid. This is a vanilla. What does it says? Okay. Top note. Pink pepper. Pink apple. Sugar crystals. Heart, Lily, Jasmine, Petals, Cashmere, Wood, Base, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and another kind of wood. I can tell you, I can really smell the Jasmine, the Vanilla, and the Sandalwood. I, I really smell those notes in this a lot. Love it. Don't know if that's in stock yet. I got mine during the VIV sale at Kohl's. They had put it like the last week of the sale. I think the last couple of days of the sale. They put that on their website. And I got it. Because I was like I have to know what it smells like. If you watched my v my first VIB sale haul, you would have seen that the OIS setting spray mechanism was broken and did not work for me. I bought another one and that was also broken and they do not carry that mist in my store. I, th I really thought that I had bought that in store, but apparently I didn't. So I had it reshipped and the same problem. So I think I'll buy that from the LYS website because I think Sephora has like some defective ones. I don't know if anybody else had that problem with it, but... I heard it's a really good setting spray and I want to try it, but not like that. So anyways, since I went on a tangent, I got, I returned that and then got the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray because I heard really, really good things about this setting spray and I want to try that out. I got another Sephora Collection Facial Razor, the metal one with the the interchangeable razors in the back. I love this for shaving my face. I don't like the plastic ones. The plastic ones break me out, but the metal one is really good. So y'all better come get you one of these. 
like I said, it's 12 o'clock midnight. I don't even know if I will upload this because I'm quite frankly delirious. So I got that. Okay. I also got the Gloss Balm and Universal Lip Illuminizer in Riri from Venti. And that looks like this. Let's put some on. I don't even care. Okay, I'm gonna put some on top of this. Ooh, that really pumped it up a notch. Can't really tell because I already had a lip color on. But ooh, I, I love these. I love the gloss bombs. I like the creams better, but I I like the the regular gloss bombs as well. And then I got Hot Chocolate Fantasy. Ooh, that's real pretty. Are we gonna layer this too? Sure I am. Let's do this on the side. Ooh. I like the, cause it's like a dimensional gloss, you know? It gives you the kind of like, that glass 3D effect. I look ridiculous with all this gloss. I don't care. It's getting late, you could tell. I'm getting tired. Okay, then the cult following. I got the YSL Rouge Candy Glaze Balms. And I got Healthy Glow Number Two and Scenic Brown Number 14. I got this because I was watching Beauty by Chi Chi and I mean, she is stunning. She is so gorgeous. I will put a picture somewhere. And her lips, like anything that she puts on her lips, I will buy, but I will never have her lip shape. And I don't want to go get filler. I, I don't. So it is what it is. Scenic Brown. That is the what do they look in the case. The universal one, so the, the clear one. I didn't even want those. But like I said, Chi Chi, you may buy it. I was influenced. And then on the train of lip products, I got the Laneige Peppermint Lip Glowy Balm. I've never I've had their sleeping masks, but I've never had their lip glowy balms. And I know when I love like minty things, so I got the peppermint one. I don't know if you can get this anymore. And I got this because Amber P said she liked it. I was like, well, I need that too. And then this is my last lip product. I believe this is my last lip product. Y'all know I love the Ole Hendrickson Pound Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. It tastes like a, um, it's like very citrus orange. And then they came out with this one for holiday. I don't know if you can get this anymore. It's a berry one. Yeah, a berry jam. And, oh, I think I'm going to really love that color. Yeah, I'm really, really going to love that color. Oh, yeah, when you swatch it, it looks clear, but the undertone is berry. I'm gonna love this so I got that I don't advise anybody to get this many products at once or at all okay because 2024 Alex is saving her coins <sighs> but I was going through a tough time and when I go through a tough time I like to shop okay I shop but a lot of this was gifts so I don't feel bad like the more expensive products were gifts so yeah, on to hair stuff. I got the Moroccan Oil Mending Infusion Repair Serum. It helps seal split ends, and I need that. My hair is breaking off because I'm not taking care of myself, but new year, new me, and I'm going to do it. And this, I love Moroccan Oil. Like, Moroccan Oil 
it, this brand does feeds my hair. I love it. So I got that. I got the Moroccan oil treatment oil and I've been using that already. And it looks like this. I I love this stuff. I used to get the little teeny tiny bottles. I'm like, Alex, stop doing that. You can buy a $128 eyeshadow palette. You can buy a $50 hair serum. It'll be all right. And then I got the Frizz Shield Frizz Control Leave-In. And this I used. And no frizz, but it is cool. Cooler weather. So we'll have to really put this to the test in the summer. I know my best friend Kelly likes that color wow one. And she says that works really well, but you really have to coat and saturate the hair. She also has a channel. She just did a few shorts. Um, sincerely, Kelly, please go follow her. And the next uh, Moroccan oil thing that I got, this is like, I've used this, honey, is the all-in-one leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's all you need to know. Sal loves it. It smells amazing, and I love it. My husband got me this perfume sampler. I don't think you can get it anymore. I got that. And I got him the men's uh, cologne sampler, which he has already tore into that and picked a one he wants to pick up. I haven't picked one yet. I'm leaning towards getting my Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtues because I really am not into anything else on here. Or maybe the YSL Opium. Oh, and then he did get me another fragrance. It's the Alien Goddess um, by Mugler. I haven't even, I haven't even opened this. I love um, Mugler fragrances. Like, I like, I have the Angel Nova and that's like my favorite, one of my top five favorite perfumes. I am very sensitive to smells and a lot of perfume gives me headaches. So I have to be careful. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, I love this. I love this. This, I wish I would have asked for. I don't, like I said, I get migraine. I don't go through fragrances, so I asked for a little one, but I could have got a bigger size than this. I might ask for a bigger size. No, I'm not that's fine because I have other fragrances I need to get through all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this haul I'm a bit of a shopaholic this was a collective haul I just want to be very clear collective over months and months all the months that I was not filming some of these things I got for Mother's Day last year okay from Mother's Day that was like what May May until January. This is like some of the things from May until January. Really, May to December. That's a lot of months. So, like I said, would never ever encourage anybody to get this many things and spend that much money. Unless you got it like that. Because half of the stuff I could not get without friends and family and my husband who works really hard. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Please give me a like, thumbs up, or subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please hit the bell button to be notified when I upload another video. All right, you guys. Bye.